every time there's new developments of drugs, you know, with IMIDs and then anti-CD38 antibodies, we're always kind of saying, we're, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. Do we still need a transplant? You know, we're always asking the same kind of questions. And now with T-cell redirection therapies, both bispecifics and CAR-T, that's even more promising, right? We've never seen these results in these relapse patients. So what will we see when we bring them up front, right? right? So I think the cure is, can we give the optimal frontline treatment strategy where we see, you know, 20 years progression-free survival kind of thing, a really long uh, progression-free survival, and hopefully that, right, that is the cure. Um, I think where there's certain areas where we're still struggling is the high-risk patients, right? We do see some patients with standard risk who do really well um, for a long period. Some patients have myeloma for 20 years. I think giving these kind of very effective treatments up front to those patients, those, the standard risk patients, might end up achieving a cure. We, more time will tell. But I think where really the barriers are the high-risk patients. Um, the barriers are, what do we do with MRD? You know, minimal residual disease negativity. Do we understand what those cells are resistant to? How do we convert patients to MRD negative um, in the front line? So yeah, bringing these agents in the front line is a, a step closer to cure, but we're not there yet.